Hi, I'm Hub Arkish for Pro Football Weekly, along with our senior editor, Nolan Naraki. Nolan, of course, also our lead talent evaluator, the author of the Pro Football Weekly Draft Preview Guide magazine and Draft Preview book. And it's time now for our players to watch in some of the key college games of the weekend. And as you may have heard, there's a game in Baton Rouge. Number one, Alabama will be visiting number five, LSU. And Nolan, offensive guard Chance Warmack for Alabama, LSU defensive tackle Benny Logan. You can watch a couple of NFL prospects going head to head. Yeah, this is a great matchup, one of the great matchups of the century. Uh, Warmack to me is the best guard I've seen since Mike Ayupati came out of Idaho. Uh, just a tremendous talent, uh, comes off the ball flat backed and really moves the line of scrimmage. He's a very powerful blocker, very athletic. I think he's a day one starter, impact performer, and will be an all pro once he gets to the NFL. And Benny Logan is a very similar talent. Uh, he's listed at 6'3", 295 in the media guide. He's really closer to 6'4", 330. He's that big, very athletic, can bend naturally. I think he can play anywhere on, on the line for a 3-4 defense or a 4-3. You can put him wherever you want. He's going to make an impact. Yeah, it's usually the other way in college. They make him bigger in the pros. They make him smaller. But I guess uh, LSU's got a different thought on that. Let's take a look at number 24, Oklahoma State, visiting number 2, Kansas State. I'm sold. I think Kansas State's the real deal. Is their quarterback, Colin Klein, the real deal? To me, he's not. I think he's very similar to Tim Tebow when he was coming out. He has sterling intangibles. I think some team is going to get enamored with the makeup and overdraft him. But when you look at the quarterback, uh, his mechanics are not there. He's not very accurate. I think he's got a long way to go. He, he's very effective in that spread option uh, dive offense that they run. But I don't think the skill set's going to translate the best to the NFL level. So I think he's very much a work in progress. Grades out as a third to fourth round talent to me. But he, like I said, he can easily go early in the draft. Right, now the University of Oregon has slid from number two to number four, even though they keep blowing people out. They're visiting number 17 USC wide receiver Robert Woods. He's a junior. Is he an NFL player in the future? He's a slot receiver. He can't play outside. I think there's a limited value there. I think he's a third rounder. I really think he should stay in school. He's not even the best receiver at the program. That is a distinction that belongs to Marquise Lee. So I think he needs to stay in. I think he's a mid-round talent. All right, Nolan, thank you. That'll do it for this week's edition of Players to Watch. For all the best in news, notes, and analysis, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, make sure you dial up ProFootballWeekly.com.